which is to, to be expected. Those who come here suffer all manner of afflictions, you see. And yet, a part of me is afeard for them. So, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer voices I hear at night. And none say the abbess can enter? If the gracious hand has a secret, tis the abbess who keeps it, I reckon. You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. Oh, you've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. But if you do find aught amiss down in that basement, it must be the abbess's doing. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, will you help me see to it that justice is carried out? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the Sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. If you apprehend the abbess, they'll know to come and arrest her. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need, if it exists to be found. To get to the bottom of what is happening at the Gracious Hand, we shall have to acquire evidence of any misdeeds. I quite agree. How might we enter the basement sick room? I concur. Beg pardon, sir, but this room is where our most severe cases convalesce. I must ask you not to disturb them, for your sake as much as theirs. Ne'er in my wildest dreams could I have imagined it would be the magistrate you called here. Not that I'm complaining. Pray, feel at liberty to come and go as you please. Ne'er in my what? What should I do? With the aid of Sir Kendrick and his helper in locating certain documents, I believe I finally grasp the true nature of this place. It was a royal library that was sealed off by a sovereign of some generations past. In a bid to pass the throne on to his own descendants, this sovereign attempted to consign our kingdom's histories to oblivion. Alas! It would seem that, no matter the age, the avarice of those in power is all but guaranteed. Yet, tis clear it serves them not. Almost laughably so. The Sovereign's line ultimately fell to ruin, and now this library, so laboriously sealed, has been discovered. What can we learn from this? Those who make light of history are doomed to be crushed under its heel. Let my mad Fine timing, sir. Fine timing indeed. I've need of your services, you see. My time in that tenebrous jail has only hastened the deterioration of my eyesight. I stare at the page, but the letters stubbornly refuse to take shape. Yet these old eyes might serve some use if only I could wear the spectacles I had specially made. Alas! They were confiscated at the time of my imprisonment. As I recall, prisoners' possessions are held within the palace storeroom. It is a place to which few have lawful access, as I'm sure you can imagine. Though, as I hear it, 
Masquerades are being held of late. Masquerades with a great many attendees, if you catch my meaning. Should you happen to enter the venue, mayhap you would find an opportunity to liberate my poor spectacles? What say you? Would you consider doing an old man a favor? I am in your debt. With those spectacles in hand, I might actually get through one of my tomes. Pray, infiltrate the venue and find the storeroom. You are my only hope. My spectacles are in... My spectacles are in your hand. Battle is best avoided here. How might we enter the basement sick room? Splendid. Just thinking about it. Got something for me? You don't need a permit to just hide in the back of an ox car, eh? It works. Mind, you've got to avoid the guard's line of sight. But it's easy enough. I should know. I've done it. I do hope not befalls Lubomir. I should like to see him walk out of here in good health. A moment's prayer can do a world of good. A moment's prayer can do a world of good. Might I beg but a moment of your time? A moment's prayer can do a work.
should I do? It's been a hard day. What should I do? What to do? What to do? Hoy arisen! Say, have you heard about the state of the river? Do you know the river close by the church? Well, it's come to be full of muck and filth and all sorts. That's a problem for the church, as it draws from the river to make holy water. The water's so filthy that it's going to take twice the amount of gold ore to purify it. I was thinking you could help the priests by finding some gold ore. After all, it wouldn't be good for anyone if the church ran out of holy water. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Thanks ever so much. I'll help too. I'll look for gold ore every place I can think of. Boy, you risen. Have you found any gold ore yet? That's all right. I'm sure it... How might we enter the basement sick room? I concur. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist. Do come again. A flexible vocation. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad. to assist you. Always a pleasure. Any gold ore yet? Wow! This'll be plenty, I reckon. Thank you ever so much. Listen, I was talking to the priests, and apparently our troubles aren't over yet. Would you be willing to lend us a hand again, Arisen? Just one more time. Thanks. So, remember how I told you about the river by the church getting all mucky? Well, the grown-ups are saying it's gotten worse. Now lots of people who live nearby are falling sick. The priests have been treating everyone as best they can, but there's nowhere near enough medicine to go round. I want to help them, but I'm not sure what I can do. Apart from ask you, that is. Would you bring us some more medicine, Arisen? Oh, thanks, Arisen. What would we do without you? I'll talk to the priests in the meantime, See if there's anything useful I can do. Now we've made a Hoy, arisen! Have you brought any medicine with you?
Now that's just splendid. Oh, thank you, Arisen. This should be plenty. I'll take it to the church straight away. Tis a goodly deed we've done, aiding the sick. I only hope our efforts go a ways toward improving life in the slums. I quite agree. Pity me, do you? Chaos in the world begins with chaos of the mind. How might we enter the basement sick room? I concur. I'll gather this. It might be of use. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. What do you think? Does this suit me?
Oh, sir, if you please, pray excuse my boldness, sir. I am but a humble maid in service to a noble household. Might I beg a moment of your time? My master is in need of aid, you see, and I'm hoping you'll consider offering your assistance. Oh, thank you, sir. You cannot imagine my relief. Might we continue this conversation somewhere more discreet? The matter it concerns is rather sensitive, and I would not risk being overheard. You will find my master's manor in the noble quarter. Pray, meet me there at your earliest convenience. How might we enter the basement sick room? Well said. Greetings. You seek guidance, do you not? You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. I have seen your path. May the... You've my gratitude. Tis lovely to see you. Quite the predicament. Saurians, Master. <laughs> One might confidently call that a resounding victory. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Rejoice, my darling, for your Albert is returned. Welcome home, dear. I spend my days spinning yarns, only to come home to a wife for whose radiance I have no words. Oh, you bold-faced flatterer. Drag my ass out Go of bed. On, we do have a look. Day. Proper nutrition. Well met. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Not half bad. <laughs> I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself.
here I've no wisdom to offer. Interested in my wares? Drink is a vice of lesser men. Go on, have a look. Interested in my wares? Go on, have a look. How might we enter the basement sick room? Splendid. I said to my thoughts down the dark path is this place. Interested in my way? This place offers a view of the sea. I imagine we would not escape a plunge into the water's depths. To mind the Go line to solve this. Have a look. Interested in my wares? Have a look. Interested in my wares? No shame in letting down your hair now and then. Go on, have a look. Interested in my wares? It's nice to see everyone out and about. Go on, have a 
Have a look. Interested in my wares? I don't think so. Go on, have a look. Lady Eleanor's a goodly person, a saint-like. Her earnest care saw me back to full health. I wavered between life and death for quite some time in that basement sick room, and she watched over me through it all, bless her. Can't say as I miss that basement, mind. It is an eerie place, dark and shadowy, filled with the moaning of the sick. Supposed is only to be expected, given the state of those assembled. I'm sure I was moaning too. Elena, ah yes, the abbess of the gracious hand. A fine woman by all accounts. I was in her care once myself. But I must admit, I've always felt there's something off about her. You see, I was only a little under the weather when I entered her care. But then I started getting sicker and sicker till I was certain death would come for me. In the end, I survived, but methinks I was one of the lucky few. So many died down there. And once I saw her, the abbess, meeting with a strange man. She handed him a large parcel, all wrapped up. And he gave her something small in return. You'd think to a medicine. But I'd not have bought medicine from a man like that. He had the look of a scoundrel about him. They were whispering, but I did hear one of them say aught about keeping quiet. Tis well suspicious, eh? Where'd they meet? Twas in the square in the eastern part of the common quarter, and always a night, as I recall. How might we enter the basement sick room? I concur. Whatever it is, I'll have to hear it another time. Got any tales to liven up my day? Well met. This here's the sanctuary of tipplers. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Keep those orders coming. This fearsome world of our... I seem to recall someone else boasting of being the Arisen over in the tavern about six months ago. Just be sure you play your part well, whatever the truth. The a fellow Drake or two, and I reckon you'll learn the people's faith. <laughs> Good luck to you. I'm not much of a talker, me. I said to my thoughts, I'm not a part of the 
The hour's grown late. Hilda's going to have my hide. Doors locked. That should do it. Here. Aye, this is plenty. Lord Phasus is like to be in your debt. <laughs> Nicely done. Suppose it can't have been easy to procure this much so quickly. You suppose wrong. I command their full faith. Tis simple for me to extract what I require. Ha! You're a fearsome one. Here's hoping I near end up in your care. Enough. I gave you yours, now you give me mine. I'd not be seen here with you. Ah, of course. Wouldn't want to hurt the Lady Saint's image in the eyes of the common folk, would we? Here's your special medicine. Glad we understand each other. Till next time. I be seeing you. This is not the first we've heard of Lord Phasus. What could his aim be, I wonder? That's odd. How might we enter the basement sick room? Splendid. Mayhap I ought to ask around town. Might I beg but a moment of your time? Chaos in the world begins with chaos of the mind. What's your problem? What's your problem? Make it quick. I ain't got all day.
at your neck. Oh. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist. You. Always a pleasure. Complain, really. Oh, could use a rest. Crime committed here will see one confined to jail. Near in my wild. gone. Oh. Mayhap would serve us well to track down the former patients mentioned in these records of treatment. Indeed, you are correct. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. As I recall, the two shared a few whispered words. What to do? Aye, that Lady Eleanor is a goodly perk. Watch your back, eh? Time to be heading home. Don't think your one found its way inside the common quarter just the other night. Much blood was spilled afore the thing was cold. You could say it was an ill twist of fortune, but mayhap we ought to be better prepared for such incidents. I wonder if building a nice high wall is out of the question. found anything what you found a medicine used only in the basement sick room I I don't like the sound of that do you think could I trouble you to look into this as well mayhap you could show it to the doctor I saw before coming here Radcliffe his name was he's staying in the rest town pray sir do what you can I must know 
Methinks we would do well to bring this medicine to Sir Radcliffe, the doctor over in Rest Town. You're back? Pray, tell me, have you found anything? These look like records of treatment. Johan and Bruno. I know these two. They left here not long ago, fit as a pair of fiddles. I recall them being especially meek to the abbess. Mayhap that's what got them out safely. At any rate, they may know aught of use. Loath as I am to ask more of you, perhaps you would speak to them in my stead?
have you need of me. Would that such tranquility could last. Right you are. Say it. We trounced our foe well and true. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Now, what might that be? We ought to take a closer look. It is vital you remain level headed. Given our current vocations, we've little use for arrows, but we might as well take them. You never know. We might find a use for them. Ah, oh, now here's a surprise. Our collection grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. I felt certain I would find you here arisen. I don't see. You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. I grant your weapon a magical boon. Yes!
I shall take this.